Hey guys, one is Gaming here, and I am back with Doki Doki Literature Club. Now, I haven't played this game in a while. Uh, I have my reasons. But, I don't remember where I left off. But apparently April 14th? I don't know. Who should I... So, it's been what? Almost a year since I last played this game. So, for me, today is Valentine's Day. For you guys, it was probably yesterday. I thought, hey, why not play this game in the spirit of love out there, you know? So let's see. Let's go with... Let's go. I'll keep my ass close. Uh, okay, where are we? Oh, right here. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, okay, wait. Uh, right there. Natsuki. Let's go with Natsuki. Oh, hi. Hey. You. You're the mean one. This one's all right. This one's all right. Oh, I forgot I changed. I forgot I named myself. <laughs> oh no! All right. Well, yeah. Did I even give these people? Did I give these girls voices? I don't remember. It's about as good as yesterday's anyway. I see what you're going for, but it's just not really my style. I mean, that's fine. What did I write? I'm mostly just glad that you're trying a little bit. Well, of course I'm at least trying. Why are you so emotionally invested in my poems anyway? Isn't that more of a compliment to me? Eh, n no, gross. It's not like I care. It's just the one of us in the club has to make sure you're not slacking off. What do you mean by slacking off? Really? Well, what if you ended up scaring me anyway? Away, anyway, anyway. That's um. It's not like you would actually do that. Yeah, you're right. It's kind of fun hanging out here, even if I have to put it put up with you. You with your weird little fang teeth. Yeah. Natsuki's elbow connects with my stomach. Oh, maybe I won't mind scaring you after all. Away after all. I was just joking. <laughs> you punched me real hard. Oh, I know. Don't worry. I was too. Ha 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 ha. How the hell do you call that a joke? That seriously hurt. <laughs> well, maybe it was funny to her. I guess that's kind of the point. I should really just watch my mouth around Natsuki. Anyway, Natsuki holds her poem out like me like nothing ever happened. I'll be your beach. Uh, you're by now so full of troubles and fears that diminished your wonder over the years. But I have a special place, a beach for us to go. A shore reaching, uh, a shore reaching behind your side. A sea that sparkles with brilliant light that walls in your mind will melt away before the sunny glow. I'll be the beach that washes your worries away. I'll be the beach that you daydream about each day. I'll be the beach that makes your heart leap. Oh, in a way though, had left you long ago. Let's bury your heavy thoughts in a pile of sand. Bathe in sunbeams and hold my hand. Wash your insecurities in the salty sea and let you shine. Let's get your memories in full per footprint trail. Sink your free in my windy sail and remember the reasons you're wonderful when you press your lips to mine. I'll be the beach that washes your worries away. I'll be the beach that you dream, they dream about each day. I'll be the beach that makes your heart weep in the way you thought had left you long ago. But if you let me by your side, your own beach, your own escape, you'll learn to love yourself again. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, yeah. I feel like I kept writing about negative things, so I wanted to write something with a nice message for once. I don't know if I'm gonna give this character this voice, but uh, you know what? I'm gonna go with it. Besides, the beach is awesome. I found it hard to write anything negative about the beach, so you decide to write about the beach. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna go with that, but that's too annoying. About the beach person, then came up with the message later. Yeah, well, it's only because of what happened yesterday. I mean, after Yuri and I realized we kind of wrote about the same thing, she wanted to pick a topic that helped us write about it or whatever. Ugh, you can't really see her doing that too. Making us write about a simple topic, then trying to impress me by coming up with something all fancy. Well, it's not like I care. It's just, I just did it anyway. I mean, I guess mine ended up being a metaphorical too. But there's nothing wrong with doing that once in a while. At the very least, it was a good practice. Okay. Uh, down. Sayori was the closest. Okay. Hi, Sayori. This is your best one so far. It really came. It came really nice. Cock. <laughs> or thanks. <laughs> um. Uh, Sayori, you've been a little quiet today. Is everything all right? Eh. Of course. Everything is fine. Maybe I'm just, I'm just a little tired today. <laughs> Do you want to nap or something? No, that's silly. Don't worry about me, okay? 
I only want to see smiles on your face. Yeah, well, all right. Hey, Cock. I'm still a little surprised. I really thought you that you would try writing the poems like the way Yuri does, or even Natsuki. But in the end, yeah. I guess you're the one who likes this one the most. Why? You don't want to get closer with anybody else? Wait. Of course I do, but that doesn't mean I need to try so hard to impress him. I don't understand you the most, Sayori. I know you have to sometimes put up with me, and I have to sometimes put up with you, but we have a wavelength or something. I don't understand. And this is how the poem came out. Sometimes it feels like you're the only exciting thing in my life. So sometimes it's just easier to write up when thinking about you, Sayori. No, no, you're gonna cry. Oh, no, Cock. <laughs> I don't deserve this. You're too nice to me. What are you doing this? Why are you doing this? So Yuri has trouble keeping her voice steady all of a sudden. If you had fun with everyone else instead, this would be so much easier. Ah, easier. So Yuri. I glance around the room to make sure nobody, nobody has noticed this. So Yuri. I probably never said this before, but I don't understand what you're feeling right now. Tell me, what will cheer you up? So Yuri shakes her head. She sniffles and keeps shaking her head. Finally, she gathers herself and puts on a smile. It's nothing, talk. It's just a little rain cloud. I'm sorry you had to see that. <laughs> I promise it won't happen again. Just miles from everyone, okay? That's all that matters. Oh, go play with everyone else. Okay, that kind of sounds wrong, but okay. I'm gonna go home a little bit early today. So you worry. Tell Mike I wasn't feeling well, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Before I can say anything, I'll say you cheerfully walks out of the classroom humming to herself. Boy, can you hear me? Uh, you're in Monica, you're in Monica, you're in Monica, you're in Monica. You're in Monica. Monica. Okay, definitely wasn't doing that on purpose. Hi, Khan. Have you thought about what you want to submit to perform at the festival? Well, being in this club is one thing, but performing in front of a bunch of people, I have to give it some more thought. Okay, no pressure. But whatever you do, I'm sure it'll turn out great. It will also make me happy to see. Uh, anyway, let's take a look at today's poem. Sure. I let Monica take the poem home in my hand. Uh, it's kind of funny. How so? No, not the poem. I mean, it's funny how your poems and your ones have been getting more and more similar to each other every day. I'm surprised you're so in sync with her. Then again, you've been spending a lot of time together lately, haven't you? Uh, I guess you could say that. Although we kind of grew up as best friends, I haven't been seeing as much of her with this past year. But since I joined this club, we've been spending a lot of time together again. I see, I see. That reminds me about how so you always been a little bit off today. Yeah, did she tell you something? Uh, well... Cock, you haven't been flirting with her, have you? Wink, wink, <laughs> wink, wink, wink. Of course not. I've been treating her like I always do. All right, just making sure I know how much you care about her. I would, it, it wouldn't be terrible if something bad happened to her, so keep an eye on her. Monica, I feel like you're the goddamn villain in this game. Mm, but spoiler ahead, I mean, she kinda is. So you've been acting so much happy ever since you joined the club. What could have happened all of a sudden? Well, never mind. That really isn't the time to be talking about this. Anyway, I'll share my poem with you a little now, alright? Uh, alright. The lady who knows everything. Oh, 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 hi. Okay. A little tale to the lady who wanders, okay. who wanders on art. The lady who knows everything. A beautiful lady who has found every answer, all meaning, all purpose, and all that was ever sought. I am, and here I am, a feather. Lost adrift, the sky, victim of the currents of the wind. Day after day, I search, a li I search with, with little hope, knowing, knowing legends don't exist, but when all else has failed me, when all others have turned away, the legend is all that remains. The last dim star glimmering on the the sky. Until one day, the wind ceases to blow. I fall and I fall and fall even more. Gentle as a feather, a dry, cold, expressionless, but a hand catches me between the thumb and forefinger. Finger the hand of a beautiful lady. I look at her eyes and find no end to her gaze. The lady who knows everything knows what I am thinking before I can speak to She responds in a hollow voice. I have found every answer of all which amounts to nothing. There is no meaning, there is no purpose. Always seek it only the impossible. I am not your legend. Your legend does not exist. And with the breath, she blows me uh, back afloat and I pick up a gust of wind. <sighs> Thank you. I picked up a gust of wind. Thank you. You know. I feel like learning and looking for answers are the sorts of things that give life meaning. Not to get philosoph philosophical or anything, Henry, but it was kind of my mind, so that that's what I wrote about. <laughs> I see. I never really put much thought into it. In a way, it's almost paradoxical. 
Because if we had all the answers, wouldn't the start, wouldn't the world start to lose its meaning? You know, there's only there's one thing I know. It seems like everyone in club is forced to write about things that are more sad than happy. Uh, are you surprised? I mean, if anything was okay, we wouldn't really have anything to write about, would we? Humans are two-dimensional creatures. I think you you know that better than anyone. You mean one-dimensional? Uh, yeah, that. Anyway, here's Monday Club's writing tip, tip of the day. Are you ever too shy to show your writing because you're afraid it's, it's not that good? Yeah, I mean, I'm always afraid of myself. Okay, you did my camera was out of focus for a second. <laughs> it can be really disheartening to get a lukewarm response to something you put so much into. But if you find other people who enjoy writing, then sharing becomes a lot easier. Because instead of just telling you that your writing is good or okay or bad, do want to focus more on everything that went into it and the things you can, you can work on. It's much more encouraging in that way and it'll, it'll make you want to improve, continue improving. It's almost like having your own little literature club, don't you think? Ha, Doki Doki Literature Club. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. <laughs> Alright, what should I... Well, the only chance... The only person left is your... Dot, dot, dot. Well done, cock. You've definitely improved your writing over the course of these few days. Has my advice been helpful to you? Yeah, definitely. Because I don't remember. I'm glad. Sharing your art writing like this, it's a lot more fun and rewarding than I anticipated. I need to remember to thank Monica. I think we all felt a little awkward at first, but now it seems like everyone is enjoying sharing their writing and seeing what others think. I guess I can't really disagree. I was afraid this whole thing would be a chore, but it's a great way for you to spend some personal time with all the girls in the club. But it's been fun getting to know everyone. They're writing. All I guess is all I guess doing some writing myself. Well, have you learned anything about yourself, Carl? Uh, that I am a slacker. I really don't get things done. Well, you know how I like to say that writing is a very personal way to get in touch with yourself. In the end, it doesn't matter if you're a good writer or a, a bad writer. And even my opinions are just opinions, you know. As always, I believe what's most important is exploring, discovering yourself. That's com that's comforting. I'm kind of afraid of disappointing you in some way or another. Uh, why me? Well, you're always sophisticated with your writing and have the most uh, most advice to share. Is that so? Your things for a good minute. That must be terrible. Nah. For me to have become someone whose opinion is fearsome, how unlikable of me. Yuri. It's not as bad as you're making it sound in your head. I just meant that I respect your opinion. I see. I'm sorry that I always overthink and come to those sorts of conclusions. I'm so, I'm just a little used to it. Overthinking? Being disliked? Yuri, what, what was I saying? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to bring that up. Let's move on. Alright. Do you want to share your poem now? Okay. Here. So confident. Oh, God. No. Okay, this one's shorter. Okay, thank you. Thank you. No! I didn't mean to click out. Um, I didn't click out. I didn't mean to click out. Um, I'm aware that the beach is kind of a inane thing to write about, but I did my best to take a metaphorical approach to it. Yeah, Natsuki already told me about it. She, she did? She didn't say anything weird, did she? She just wanted us to write about the same topic again. I suppose to better compare the differences in our writing styles or thought process. Anyway, it was her idea. Knowing her, it's no surprise that she'll want to do something like that. She probably just wants to show off. It's not like I have a particular interest in her writing, so I just went with her request. But, well, I suppose it's not so bad to write about something simple on occasion. It can be refreshing, you know? Uh, it's good for me to calm my thoughts once in a while. Yeah, I think I agree. Thanks for sharing. Okay. Okay, you three. We're all done sharing problems, right? Why don't we start figuring out... Hold on a sec. Is it just me or did you just say something strange just now? Eh? Something did sound a bit unusual. That's right. You deviated from your, ca your catchphrase when you're dressing the club. Catchphrase? I don't have a catchphrase. Jeez. Why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri is, is immune to it. Uh, stagnating air is common, foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. In your books, maybe. Look, the only thing that's different is that Yuri isn't here. Uh, it seems you're right. So Yori always helps line the mood a little bit, doesn't she? It's almost like everybody's balance is thrown off a little when she's not around. Where the heck did she run off to anyway? I thought she just went to pee. Matsuki, please show some decency. Oh, come on. Uh, she actually wasn't feeling too well and went home early. Is that so? Oh, she's alright. Seriously. 
Of all times, do not go home with her. You picked the time she's not feeling well. So much for you being too all lovey dovey. Oh no. First of all, stop misunderstanding my friendship with Sayori. We're just friends. And second, she's kind of been avoiding me today, so I don't want to force it. Who? That curious expression coming from you. Of all people. Calm down, guys. I talked to her early. Uh, I talked to her early, and everything's fine. What did she say? Anyway, we need to figure out the rest of the solutions. And so I asked the question. I say, what well, was wrong with her? This is not what everybody will be doing this weekend. I already know what I'm doing. Uh, that's right. No, it's okay. We'll be making cupcakes, but we might need a lot of them in different flavors. Can you handle that all by yourself, Natuki? Trying to accept it. And as for myself, I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. So I will be helping me design them. And that's for you, Yuri. Yuri, you can't. Oh, um. Guys, can you help me come, with, uh, come up with something for Yuri? I. I'm useless. No, no, that's not at all. At it, uh, uh, you're the most handsome person here, you know. Not to get spooning to you. Oh, okay. Jeez, can I even? I can tell now. I guess I never gave you were enough credit, but I can tell things are even harder on you when she's not around. Uh, that may be the case. But if I can't also be little on my own, then I can't grow as a person. So, Yuri, you have beautiful handwriting, you know. So, you should write some banners and decorations to upset the atmosphere. Atmosphere? Oh, I'm about that. I I love the atmosphere. Yuri's expression suddenly changes as she stares at her desk and focuses and starts on to her. So, your mind is already racing, I see. That's great. You'll be wonderful help, Yuri. But anyway, now she'll see if you. The one who is truly useless. Uh, don't say that. In fact, both Natuki and Yuri have some pretty heavy tasks to handle. It would probably go a long way to give one of them a hand. You could always help me out as well. It would be really appreciated of that. Uh, that's... In my opinion, it's been the weekend with one of my club members. How on earth are they going to respond to suggestions like that? Uh, I suppose I wouldn't mind a, a bit of help. Well, even if I don't know how to bake, there's always some dirty work I could give to you. It's not like Monica's going to give me a choice and you shouldn't be sitting on your butt anyway. But I don't know what to do. I have no talent. Natsuki tries to bumble a bunch of excuses like that. Um, if I recall Natsuki, you mentioned that you would you would like to handle the baking on your own. Kaku may not like to be around if you only make him out to be a nuisance. So therefore, he, he may be more suited to assisting with the decoration. Hold on, I never said that. How hard could it be to make a few decorations? Anyway, sounds more like you're just making excuses for Kaku to... What, what are you saying? It would be extremely meticulous work. And baking isn't. Just what do you think? Guys, guys. Let's settle down for a moment. In the end, I think it's up to Kaku to so how he would like to contribute. Besides, he hasn't really gotten the chance to spend any time with me yet, you know. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ladies, 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 calm down. Calm down. I don't know where I'm going with that, so I'm sure he's interested in You literally just said, I'm surprised as well. Sorry, sorry. I was just saying, though. Jeez. Come on. Can we just settle this already? Yeah. I thought you were okay with this, right? In the end, it's just it's up to you. Uh, of course. <laughs> Very well. In that case, everyone looks straight at me. But of course, I'm going to go with Sayori. Why is that a thought? Sayori. I mean, if it's going to be anyone, then I prefer helping Sayori. I mean, we're already neighbors, and but Monica said, Monica said that Sayori was helping her. <clears throat> Jeez, do you really hate us that much? N no, sorry, I didn't mean for this to be difficult. Just. Think, uh, just think of the club, okay? Fine, Monica, I guess she's the less greedy. She just came closer to me. <laughs> uh, Monica? Well, I guess I could probably be helping Monica. Yeah, you picked me. Hold on one sec. Y yeah. Monica, you're the only one who needs the least help out of all. <laughs> but I agree with Natsuki. Not only is you already more suitable for one person, but you already have Sayori as well. But Kyle was the one who, uh, that doesn't matter. You were the one who scared him into making you in the first place. You're the club president, Monica. You're supposed to make responsible decisions for the club. Monica, you shouldn't let any ulterior motives interfere with this decision. Ulterior motives? W what are you saying, Yuri? In fact, it sounds like you guys are the ones with ulterior motives. Excuse me? Otherwise, this wouldn't have been made into such a deal in the first place. That's completely false, Monica. Yeah, we'll have a lot of voice to do you, though. 
you don't know as good of for a job if you make us work the wall. And maybe that's true. Think of the club, Michael. If we were, if they want, if they, uh, if we want our event to succeed, then we need to appropriately distribute our resources. Um, uh, so are you going to do the right thing, President? Okay, okay, I get it. Sigh. It's the technical, most logical f for cocktail me at one of you two. So I guess that's what we'll do. Do you have a preference, cock? Oh God, not too cute, Oh no. But I want it so much. I always, I always, my neighbor. We're best friends. Fine. And the choice. Okay, it's closer to Natsuki. We're going with Natsuki. Well, bacon sounds like it could be fun. You guys made it sound like a lot of work, so it could probably use two people. Don't worry. Bacon's a ton of fun. I don't know how to bake. You'll definitely agree. Eh, uh, just a minute ago you were saying that. Th that's because. Th that's because. Never mind, okay? Well, anyway. You'll be fun by yourself, right, Yuri? Of course. I'm used to it after all. Jesus Christ, okay, that got. That got dark. <laughs> That's good. Even though the series being melodramatic, it's a little hard to not feel bad. I do feel bad. Why can't I just help both girls? Why can't I just go in the morning with, you know, or maybe the afternoon, you know? You know what I'm saying? You know, I could split, you know? Anything else we need to talk about? No, I think that's it. Are you guys excited? Yes. Everything except the performance is going to be awesome. I don't think that really counts. What about you, cock? Me? Mm, I guess you could say I'm interested in to see how it'll turn out. That's good enough for me. What about you, Yuri? Yuri? You're still sulking. She's still sulking. Yeah. Natsuki starts pouting too. It's not... I mean, it's not that big of a deal or anything. Well, it might not be just that. I think that Yuri might just be feeling a little underappreciated in general. Having to come up with something for her to do and then nobody offering to help. That doesn't mean... Natsuki glances back and forth between everyone with a worried expression. Look, Natsuki goes over and puts her hands over on Yuri's shoulders. Yuri, you really are the most talented one here. And and you're going to help make the event a lot more fun and welcoming. I mean the cupcakes will probably help a lot too. But you're gonna take the mo you're gonna make the most am atmosphere special. The atmosphere special. I don't know what I'm reading. Oh yeah, my answer. That would be really important for the way that people feel during the performances. So you need to stop being dumb and give yourself a little more credit. Natsuki releases her hands and turns around to face the other direction. You didn't really mean that, did you? Um, n not really, but Yuri isn't the only one surprised. Monica and I are also taken aback by, na by Natsuki's words. Natsuki, of all people, to be saying such encouraging things. But I begin to understand. Natsuki was trying to sound like Sayori. Even if it didn't work perfectly, I can tell she, that she tried to say something Sayori so would say at a time like this. Because Sayori always helps everyone smile and feel good about themselves. I'm sorry for being dumb. I'm going to do my best, and, I'll, and all of us are going, going to make it a really great event. Yeah. Yeah. I hope to see everyone do their best. But with that, there's nothing more for today. So I guess it's time for us to head out. Okay, but I'm staying here a little bit, a bit longer. I barely got to do any reading today, so fair enough, there's nothing wrong with that. Everyone packs up their things. Well, I start to follow Monica and Yuri out the door as they chat between each other. Hey, okay. Uh, what are you, where are you going? Eh? We still need to figure out our plans for this weekend. You literally would have gone home and realized that you didn't even have any, a way to contact me. Oh, that's true. I have no idea how that slipped my mind. Jeez, good thing I stopped you. I'm giving you my number, okay? You better not make it weird and not oh, making it weird. Why would I do that? I'm just gonna be posting memes all the time. I'm just gonna be scrolling down, looking at the finest memes, and just sending them to you. Natuki gives me her number. <laughs> okay, I'm coming over on Sunday. Sunday? That's my lazy Sunday days, bro. Come on, man. I'll bring all the ingredients. Wait, I'm coming to my house? Yeah, what's wrong with that? I mean, it may or may not be for, for, you know, filled with things that you don't want to see. I mean, I just figured that since I'm the one helping, I would be going to your house. Yeah, right. Like, I could have a guy over my house. What's wrong with the guy over at your house, huh? My dad would kill me. Really? That's kind of strict if you ask me. Yeah, I, how do you think I feel? I couldn't do anything when my, when my dad is home. Anyways, I just need to complain for a second. We have each other's numbers now. That's all I need from you. 
thing, okay. I guess I'll text you when I'm coming over. Alright, fine by me. Yeah. I'm really gonna show you why I love baking so much. So you better be look you better look forward to it. Oh. Didn't you say you were just gonna give me the dirty work? Well, I was just saying that. It's not like I could act in front of everyone. That I was looking forward to this. Wait, really? Well, kind of. Just because I never got to bake with someone else before, that's all it, that's all it is, so... Alright, I get it. Sorry for overreacting, and we'll be heading out now. See you on Sunday. Uh, never mind. Okay. I can't believe this! Lutik is going to be coming to my house on Sunday. Even though I would have preferred to do this with Sayori, my sister shoots through the roof. I guess I've gotten pretty used to handling her at this point. But who knows what might end up happening when we're outside of school. She could even tell me she was looking forward to it. I shake my head. Why do I feel nervous that Sayori finds out about this? It's not like we feel that way about each other. Besides, it's like, not like I said, this is about the club. I have nothing to worry about. If I just go with it, then I'll have a good time. Yeah, no. It's gonna go shreds. It's already Sunday. Oh, I'm too lazy to get up. I usually wake up at 11. But you know what? I woke up at 8. You know what? It's nothing too bad. Except my beauty sleep's going away. I've been getting increasingly anxious about the tickets upcoming visit. I keep telling myself there's no reason to be nervous, but it doesn't help much. I wonder if she'll act any different when it's just the two of us. Together. In the house. Meanwhile, she's been texting me a lot. We sent each other we sent each other one after exchanging numbers to double check, but it turned out into a conversation. She's almost a different personality on the phone using tons of emoji and kid language. Oh, but the memes. What about the memes? She also really likes complaining about things, but I kind of saw that one coming. But putting the 2K aside, I haven't heard a lot uh, I haven't heard a thing from Sayuri since she left the club early that other day. It's not like we text them. Uh, they're all each other all the time or anything, but I've been worried about her in the back of my mind. Between what Sayori said and what Monica said, is it really okay for me to put Sayori's feeling aside when she might need me? I decided to visit Sayori before Natsuki comes over. Rather than asking, I'm simply telling her I'm coming over much like we've done in the past. Once I reached Sayori's house, I knock on the door before entering it myself. Again, we used to play so often that we made it a have to simply enter into each other's house like we were family. Okay, the house is quiet. So you always in anywhere on the first floor, so I assume she's up in her room. It's so already strange of her not to run down and greet me. I head up to her room while I finally find her. So Yuri. Hi, cock. I sit down in her room. Why did the music get all romantically? So we force this to smile, but it's easy to tell she's different. There's a minute of silence between us. You haven't come over, you haven't come over like this in a long time, have, have you? Uh, I guess you're right. It has been a long time. Not much has really changed, has it? So his room is a mess. Is as messy as it's as it's always been. I mean, it doesn't look that messy. It looks not. It doesn't look that bad. I also recognize the same stuffed animals in wall decorations that she's had for years now. <laughs> if you came over more often, it wouldn't be such a mess. That's because I end up cleaning it for you. How come you suddenly wanted to come over today? Aren't you supposed to see Natuki today? Yeah, but wait. How did you know that? So you had already left by the time we decided to the last minute. Monica told me. It's only natural for her to keep me informed about the festival preparations, right? Ah, uh, that's true. But what about you? Aren't you going to be helping Monica today? Of course. But I'm just helping her online. We didn't we didn't plan to meet up or anything. Uh so it's just me and Natuki then. Yep. There's more signs between us. So he stares in a random direction. Everything about her behavior is really uncharacteristic. I finally get to the point. I just went to see how you were doing. After you left on Friday, when something's wrong, you can't hide it from me. I know you too well, so... So every smile shaking her head. That's no good, punk. <laughs> I can't take myself seriously. I mean, eh, why can't I just be like it's always been? This is all my fault. Oh, But I think it's all weak and I accidentally, uh, accidentally express my feelings. If I didn't make that stupid mistake, then you wouldn't have been worried about me at all. You wouldn't have come here. You wouldn't have been ever, ever been thinking about me right now. But this is just my punishment, isn't it? I'm getting punished for being so selfish. Selfish? When are you selfish? I think that's why the world decided to have you come over today. It just wants to torture me. <laughs> so you worry. I grab so you worry by the shoulders. What on earth are you saying? Are you listening to yourself right now? I know something happened to you. There's no other explanation for you to be like this. So tell me already. Until I know, I wouldn't be able to stop thinking about it. Uh, uh, so he gives me an empty smile. 
You really put me into a trap, Conk. But you're wrong. Nothing happened to me. I've always been like this. Just you're just seeing it for the first time. Seeing what? What are you talking about, Sayori? <laughs> You're really just going to make me say it, aren't you, Cog? I guess I have no choice this time. The time, the thing is, I've had a really bad depression my whole life. Did you know that? Why do you think I'm late to school every day? Because most days I can't even find a reason to get out of bed. What reason is there to do anything when I fully know how worthless I am? But why go to school? Why? Why make friends? Why make other people put their energy and caring to waste by having them spend it on me? That's why it feels. Well, that's what it feels like. And that's why I just want to make everyone happy. Without anyone worrying about me. I'm in shock. I can't even figure out how to respond. How is it possible that Sari kept this f kept this from me the entire time that I've known her? Does she really want so badly for me to just not think about her? Why so you worry? Eh? Why is it that you've never told me about this? It's almost just like you've been betrayed as your close friend. Because if I knew, I would have done everything I could to support you. Even if there's only so much that I could do. I would have tried a little bit harder to make every day a little better for you. That's why I'm your friend. All you had to do was tell me. You don't understand at all, Cock. Why do you think I don't tell you? Because if I told you, then you wouldn't have to waste effort caring about me instead of doing important things. I don't want to be cared about. It's bittersweet when people try to care about me. It feels nice sometimes, but it also feels like a bat swung against my head. <laughs> That's why I wanted so badly for you to make friends with everyone else. Helping everybody be happy together is the best thing for me. But then let's cover something else too. Seeing you make friends and get closer with everyone in this club, it feels like a spear going through my heart. So that's why, that's why I decided to decide the world to just come to torture me. Every path leads to nothing but hurt. <laughs> You're right, that I don't understand. I don't understand your feelings at, at all, Sayori, but I don't need to understand. Whatever it takes for you to help you stop hurting, that's what I'll do. No, Cog. There's nothing. Nothing at all. The only thing that, that could have helped is if, if everything could be like it was, always was. But I was a selfish if I, I was selfish. But I finally showed you that a horrible, horrible person that I am. Tears strike down to your face. I made you join the literature club because I was selfish. And I was punished by my heart hurting it in a way that I couldn't understand. And now you came here and I made you hurt too. I'm just weak and selfish. That's all I am. And that's why I'm going to accept these punishments. Because I deserve every last one. Without thinking I once again grasp your shoulders. This time I pulled her into a tight embrace. Ah. Cock. Sayori. I don't care if you feel selfish. I'm really happy that you convinced me to join the club. Seeing you every day makes me feel makes it worthwhile enough. If I make friends with everybody else, then there's just a, that's just a bonus. But please never underestimate how much I care about you. I wouldn't have it any other way. Cock. So you always isn't hugging me back. Despite my arms being wrapped around her, so you always arms remain at her side. She starts sawing next to my ear. No, don't do this to me. Please don't do this. Cock. I. Sayori barely manages to speak between her sobs. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing, but all I want is for her to know that I care. If you have it in you to call yourself selfish, then you have to let me be selfish too. No matter what it takes, I'll figure out what it needs to change. I'll make these feelings go away. And if there's anything that you need to me to do, then you better tell me. I'll get mad if you don't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Gently, Sayori finally puts her arms around me in return. I don't know anything. It's all really scary. I don't understand any of my feelings, huh? The only time I'm not feeling any nothing is when I'm feeling pain. But your hugs are so warm. And that's really scary too. So you let me go. And she does so I let her go as well. The festival is tomorrow. Yeah. It's going to be a fun, right? Yeah. How would you like for me to spend it all with you? Uh um uh it's what I want. I promise. I, I think that would be nice then. Yeah. So you always wipes her eyes. If I could spend the whole day here, I would. Of all, of all days, this has to be the one where I have other plans. Maybe I should cancel. No, don't. Please don't. If you did that, then I really w wouldn't forgive you. But it's almost time for not to get to meet me at my house. At the very least, do you want to come along and help out? It would be fun. So I surprise her. Always shakes her head. I'm sorry. I don't know if, I, if that would be very good for me today. You under uh, you understand, right? Uh, it's kind of hard for me to fully understand, but I'm trying my hardest. It's okay. Don't worry too much about it. 
I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Alright. I look forward to it. Dang. That is hard. <sighs> My voice is dying. <laughs> I say goodbye to Sayori and exit her house. On the way home, I find myself still feeling uneasy. But it's hard for me to keep thinking about it when the Tuki is about to come over too. I think Sayori is right. I shouldn't be worrying too much and we're definitely going to have a great time tomorrow. I should just focus on what's ahead of me. I spent only a few minutes back at the home anxiously awaiting the Tuki's arrival. Before I know it, she texts me to look. Oh, excuse me. I just stay. <laughs> Before I know it, she texts me to let me know she's outside the front door. Without delay, I open the front door to let her in. So. Hey. Hey. <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting, but Tito's taking something other than her school uniform to really turn me on. Seeing her such good clothes makes the uniform seem totally unfitting in comparison. You still make it feel so awkward already. It's gonna be a long afternoon, so don't be weird just because you're not used to seeing me outside of school. Anyway, I'm coming in. I see you brought a lot of stuff. It took you a scared little trick that's probably full of baking supplies. Well, I didn't want to come all this way to come out your that your that I come out that your kitchen isn't equipped for the job. You bought me you bought er, you bought everything I asked you to, right? Yeah, I did. Yesterday, Natsuki asked me to buy a bunch of ingredients if I didn't already have them at home. Good. Glad I could count on you to do your part. Hey, have you heard? Subscribe to PewDiePie. Do your part, okay? Subscribe to PewDiePie, right? He's about to lose the T-Series, so subscribe to PewDiePie. This is the only time I'm probably gonna do my part. Maybe sometime in the future I'll do something bigger. I don't know, but at least just subscribe to PewDiePie if you're this far in the video. Make sure you subscribe. He needs to be T series. T series? Pluh, garbage. Get that out of here. PewDiePie, number one. Come on. Can we do it? Uh, that is all. <laughs> well, of course. I'm surprised to hear that you can suddenly say that rather than something snarkily like she usually does. Couldn't it be that she is a little different outside of school after all? Anyway, let's go to the kitchen. Well, you're not even going to offer to take this heavy bag from me? Where's your hospitality, Colin? Come on. Since when did I need to be a gentleman? I grab a bag Natsuki holds out to me. <laughs> this is ridiculously heavy, uh huh? I carried all that all the way here. Are you impressed? I see you now. Yeah, I am impressed, Natsuki. <laughs> it seems like I always underestimate you. <laughs> it's because I'm so small, isn't it? You jerk. Natsuki hit, hits a fist into my chest. Hey, hey. Your size has nothing to do with it. Do you really hate being small that much? Eh. Um. It's not like I hate it. I mean, sometimes I like proving people wrong. But the only thing I'm worth is I'm worth my size. It's only when I get to be small and also better than other people. But, geez, never mind. What are you going to make me say? Don't think you can make make me talk about weird things just because we're not at school. Are we getting to start it or what? There's a lot of stuff I gotta teach you. Uh, what? It's a little bit more like you. You're the more fun when you just speak out your mind like that. Hey, now you are dreaming like a kid. I was just trying to be a little nicer to you, you know? And just because I don't have a mature and sexy figure like you, it doesn't mean you shouldn't treat me like... Uh, Natsuki catches her words and her face turns red. Natsuki, forget it. I didn't say anything. I should apologize. Yeah. I appreciate that you were trying to be nicer. Oh, my throat's hurting. I haven't drunk, I haven't drank water yet. Nah. I should have been a little more considerate too. But also, if that's what you're thinking, then you should know that you are. There are tons of guys who are into body touch like yours. Oh, that's not something I would say in real life. That is. That's just making things awkward. <laughs> How would you know that anyway? Just trust me on this one. Gross. Hey. Was that to me? Who else? Man, let's just get all started already. <laughs> you get all started when a girl calls you girls. I finally found your weakness. Talk. Natsuki smiles to me asleep. Please spare me. Well, if Natsuki decides to dish out more results like that, there's no way I'm figuring. I'm not fighting back. But she's satisfied enough for me now. Finally starting to pull things out of her bag so we can get started. Drawn along the whole kitchen is a mess. Spoons, dirty bowls, flowers, spilled fluid, and plastic bags are strewn about every countertop. The mixer isn't big enough to make it all the batter at once, so we've had to do it several times. Meanwhile, Nasuki's babysitting all my movements to make sure I don't mess up her precious baking. Cog, where did you put the food coloring? 
The batter's going in the oven since so I need to fill the trays. I think it's still in the bag next to the table. What are you using it for? To color the batter, of course. It's making each tray a different color. That, that way, even if the colors aren't different, everyone can still pick their favorite. Oh, that's cute. That's a cute idea. Are we going to do anything like that with the icing? Do you want to? Uh, you're asking me? I don't really have a perform preference, so come on. You're not putting any heart into this at all. Can't you at least try to have fun? I'm having fun! I'm not really sure that when the two kids trying to get out of me. Meanwhile, I'll see her sep separate the batter into smaller bowls and put a few drops of food coloring into each. Oh, uh, that does look pretty cool. See? It's not like baking, it's just about following instructions. The presentation is where you get to be creative and the most fun. It's a million times more worth it than... Then it that worth it in the end if just looking at it makes everything eyes like if it makes everyone's eyes line up. Like the ones you made on my first day, huh? I come to keep probably presenting her cat shaped cupcakes and so you and Monica's delightly expressions. I wonder if I can make them to keep her like that too. Uh sorry. Uh I had to go for a second. Alright. Yeah. Maybe I, I will still use the food coloring now. Sounds like you're st starting to understand. Just make sure you completely finish mixing the icing before you mess with the food coloring. Yeah, it's getting there. We were using the electric mixer for the batter, so I got stuck with the whisk and a huge bowl for the icing. Eh? The icing's still a little lumpy. Are you even trying? Well, yeah. It still it's just takes a little longer. Jeez, I'll be here all night if you do it like that. Here, look. Now, Tiki grabs the whisk from me and uses her other hand to tilt the bowl back. You really need to beat the crap out of it. After a few seconds, the consistency of the icing has already improved. See? As if to emphasize, Natsuki sticks a finger in the icing pops it in her mouth. I reluctantly start to do the same. Hey. Natsuki suddenly grabs my wrist. I, I don't want your gross fingers in my icing. Your icing, eh? Are you forgetting who did all the work? I start to fight back, trying to inch my finger toward the bowl. Don't make me beat the crap out of you next. I'd like to see you try. I push hard just enough for my finger to reach the icing. I triumphantly scoop some with my fingers just as I took it to with her open right. Ah, uh, the force on tickets bullying me causes me to stumble, making her stumbling turn. Gross. Got it on my face. Whose fault is that? There's a big glob of ice on <laughs> Tuki's cheek. Mm -hmm. She tries to reach it with her tongue, but it's too far away. Jeez. You know what? Take this. And Tuki said, wipes it off with her fingers before shoving her finger toward my face. Oh, okay. You wish. I'm faster. I grab her wrist from my hand before it reaches my face. And Tsuki tries to use her other hand to fight back, but I grab that one as well. Whoa. <laughs> Stop. Not until you probably just for calling me gross. Fine, fine. See that the ice is right there. <laughs> I'm sorry for calling you gross. You know I don't mean it. I'm just fun seeing you react to it. You do that to me all the time, you know. Saying dumb things just to get a reaction out of me. You really shouldn't tease girls like that. Is that so? In that case, I probably shouldn't do this either. I take the ticket swing and put it in my mouth, licking off the icing. What? Just, just seriously, just. Uh, uh. The ticket's just so surprised I can't even figure out how to get mad at me. Her face is entirely red. Conk. You really shouldn't do that kind of thing to girls unless you really like them. You know that, right? What kind of question is she asking me just like that? How did the mood turn to this so quickly? Uh, Nasuki gazes at me in silence. I know it's her shallow breaths. Why am I starting to feel dizzy? Eh. Uh, I got awkward. I don't know where the fire alarm switch went on. Nasuki rushes over to the oven. Something burning. I thought you didn't put the cupcakes in yet. Cough. No wonder. You left a dirty tray in here, dummy. How could you make a mistake like that? You shouldn't have checked before turning the oven on. Don't blame me for your mistakes. Jeez. Natsuki uses an oven to grab the blackened tray out of the oven. She sets it on top of the stove. There's another moment the fire alarm stops. Anyway, I'm putting them in the oven now. Yeah. The tension from the moment before still lingers over our heads, but the moment has already been lost. I watch as Natsuki slides the cupcake trays into the oven. Then I reluctantly pick up the whisk and continue with the icing like nothing ever happened. Oh, that smells so good. The cupcakes are ready to be pulled out of the oven. And as soon as Natsuki opens the oven door, a blast of swell, a sweet smelling warm air fills the room. Look at how cute they all look. She probably shows off the different colored cupcakes in each of the trays. They'll look even better once we add the icing. Not like you need to tell me that. I brought the creation decorating stuff, so I hope you get get creative. Here, scoop the icing into these bags. Natsuki hands me some plastic bags. I have these these nozzles that, nozzles that will help make it look nice and fluffy. 
This one can't even make flowers. We probably wouldn't be using it this time though. What's this one for? I pick one of the nozzles and that has a much thinner tip from, than the others. That one's really thin so you can use it to make stripes or other patterns. But you can also use it to write stuff on a cupcake. Like happy birthday or whatever. I was like, wait, what? What happened? I just right clicked it. Oh, I see. That gives me an idea, actually. Yeah? Well, it's a literature event, right? We can make it more literature thing by writing a different word on each of the cupcakes. It could be. F it would be. S it would be fun to see people choose their cupcake based on a word they like. Uh. Hmm. I was kind of expecting you to say something really stupid. But that's actually a really cute idea. So. <laughs> hey, hey. I may be stupid, but I'm also dumb. So get them facts right. Maybe I'm getting it from you. What's that supposed to mean? I'm not cute. Come on. We're not at school, nobody's judging. You can't just act like this and not expect me to think you're cute. But, well, let's take his voice shows off. Same with you. Eh? Did you say something? No, no, nothing. Let's just do the icing. Let's so he picks up the pace and fastens on us onto each of the banks. There's a lot to do, so we shouldn't be wasting time. Here, I'll show you how to do it. Without giving me a chance to think about before, not to get quickly moves on. She shows me how to apply the icing and then we each get to work. Okay! When we're finally finished, Natsuki puts them all side by side to admire our work. Look at how pretty they are together. Yeah, they are, aren't they? Uh, I wish I could have one now. Well, there's no reason you can't, right? I don't see any harm in that. Well, yeah, but my dad's making dinner tonight, so I really need to save my appetite. <laughs> so there's the exact opposite in that regard. If she was here, we'd probably be down 10 cupcakes already. And she would still eat dinner. Come on, that's just not he that's just unhealthy. Besides, when my dad cooks, I need to eat as much as I as much of it as I can. Well, anyway, I was hoping we would have time for manga, but I need to be home for dinner. Oh, already? That's a shame. It's your fault for working so slowly. You shouldn't have thought about that. You should have thought about it. It's not like you're always having this chance, man. As usual, not to get place the places the blame on me. You can bring the cupcakes tomorrow, right? If you and Sayuri each carry some, then you can probably do it in one trip. Yeah, I can do that. And don't worry, I won't let her eat any. <laughs> I wish she could listen to me the way she doesn't see you. <laughs> yeah. I again, think back to a conversation I had with Sayuri earlier today. I felt so helpless. Sayuri always does listen to me, but at the point, I felt like she couldn't listen to me at all. Okay, I'm all packed up. Good work today. You too. I'll walk you out, I guess. Okay. Just like that, Natsuki's are, are, are already about to leave. It feels like that dream went by in a flash. More than that, did I even take the opportunity to get closer to her like I wanted? Well, I guess I'll be off then. Thanks for all the help and everything. I'll see you tomorrow. Wait, Natsuki. Eh? What you said before about not always having this chance? Doesn't have to be that way at all. I had fun today. You should sh you showed me how baking how fun baking can be, like you want. But aside from that, you can come you can come over anytime, okay? <laughs> wink wink anytime. <laughs> I think that that if possible, I'd like to spend more time like this. So wink wink wink. If you want to read manga or go out somewhere, um, do you really mean that? Natsuki looks at me tensely, like she's trying to hide her expression. Yeah, I want to spend more time with you. Okay. Huh? I thought you only cared about getting this done. Uh, I'm sorry I had to leave so early today. I really didn't want to. I would really stay here longer if I could. I feel the same as you, so... Suki suddenly gets closer to me. Oh, okay, that's a little too close. A little too close. Wait, Natsuki. Standing inches from me, Natsuki looks up at me. I feel her fingers gently touching at the sides of my shirt as if holding on to me. Her rose-colored cheeks and matching eyes filled my vision along with her slightly padded lips. What is happening? My head starts to go dizzy as I feel her sob ribs against me. I felt it. For a while now. Natsuki suddenly jumps back. S Sayori. Eh? Ah. H hi, Kai. Sayori. Just now we weren't... <laughs> it's okay, York. I just stopped by to say hi. Uh, well, you, you should have come a little earlier. I'm already done on my way out, so... Oh, really? That's too bad. Yeah, well... I'll still see you at the festival tomorrow, so it's fine. Just don't need any cupcakes before then. Anyway, later. Jesus. Clearly flustered, Natsuki hurries off, and Sayori waves goodbye. Sayori. I thought you didn't want to come over today. <laughs> well, I tried staying in my room, but in my imagination was being really mean to me. So I had to come here and see it for myself. See what? What are you talking about? 
you know, how much of fun you were having with Natsuki, and how close you got to her. It makes me feel, it makes me really happy that you made such good friends. That's all that matters to me. Tears start to fall down to your face. That's all that matters to me. Why am I feeling this week, Hawk? I'm supposed to be happy for you. Why does it feel like my heart is splitting in half? Oh, it hurts so much. Everything hurts so much. This would be so much better if I could just disappear. Oh my god. Sorry, don't say that. It's true, Cog. If it wasn't here, then you wouldn't have to waste your sympathy on me. You don't have to put up with me being selfish. Monica was right. I should just... Monica. Monica was right about what? So you were. What I said before is true. I'm not going to let this continue. Caring about you like this isn't the burden your mind is making it out to be. It's something that makes me happy. It's something that I want. I won't trade for anything else. So even if it makes, if it takes an entire lifetime, I'm going to be by your side until you don't feel any more pain. But, sorry, he looks away. I put a hand on his shoulder to reassure her. I'm scared, come. I'm really scared. What are you scared of, Sayori? I'm scared that, that I might like you more than you like me, Sayori. It's true, isn't it? I was weak and started to like you too much. I did this to myself, Clunk. I like you so much that I want to die. That's how I feel. And and that's enough, Sayori. I don't want you to hurt anymore. I slide my hand down Sayori's arm and squeeze her hand in my own. Do you remember how I, how I said I always know what's best for you? Do you still believe me? Or at least Sayori not. Even if you don't understand all of your own feelings, I know what you need the most right now. And that's what I'm going to give you to you. Sayori? Oh, no. oh. <sighs> Sayori? I love you. Mm -hmm. Those are my true feelings. So there's no way you could like me more than I like you. I should have realized it sooner. But spending time with everyone at the club, making new friends, and having fun with you every day, it helped me realize that you are truly the most important person to me. That's why I'll accept any of your burdens. As long as we continue like this every day, with you by my side, then I know we'll both be happy. Come on. Aww. As long as they already wraps her arms tightly around me. Come on. Is this really okay? Yeah. I hope that you already my arms and pull her closer. You'll never have to let go of me again. I love you, Kong. I want to be with you forever. Me too. I feel so yours grip around me weakened a little. What is this? So you already... I'm supposed to be happy right now. I always thought this would be the happiest moment for me. But why? Even now. Why wouldn't, why wouldn't the rain clouds go away? They're not going away at all, Kong. It's okay, Sayori. It might take some time for things to get better again. But no matter how long it takes, I'll be there every step of the way. That's all that matters, right? Oh, okay. I trust you. Sayori and I slowly release each other. So, I guess that makes me makes the festival tomorrow our first date, huh? <laughs> what are you saying? I don't want to think about those things, you know. I want everything to be the same as it always has been. Even if we really are a couple. I don't know if I could handle anything more right now. It's really new and scary to me. I understand. Well, go at whatever pace suits your best. Hey, Kong. So your guess is at me once again, smiling sadly. Even if I get really, really sad, this is the best thing for me, right? Yeah. I don't really understand what Sayori means by that. Are you saying that this is this is making you feel sad, Sayori? I don't know. I don't understand what I'm feeling. I felt like a bunch of thorns when you hold me, when you told me you loved me. But that's why I want to trust you. You know what's best for me, yeah? I do. That's my promise. I say that, but in reality, I've never felt more uncertain when it comes to say yours. I know that I love her and she loves me, but I'm having as much trouble understanding your feelings as she is. Even though I can't comfort her, I keep wondering if I should be doing something more or something different. I know these thoughts will continue to plague me until things are back to the way they were. Is that what Sayori meant by not wanting anything to change? I don't know. But I know that I'll give it everything I've got. Sayori is the most important person to me, and I'll do whatever it takes to have a happy future with her. Okay. I think it's time to save here. Alright, so the April 14th. Oh my god! March, April. Oh my gosh, this is like two months behind from where I last left off. So right now, so the last time I left off was on the Saturday, on April 14, 2018. And then today, February 14, 2019. Oh 
boy. Okay, that was a long gap from episode two. Alright, I think I'm gonna leave this episode here. Uh, my voice is dying out from, like, not drinking water, so I'm gonna just head out now. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys do enjoy it. I'm really happy to come back to Doki Doki the Literature Club. I don't know how much time, how much um, gameplay is there left, but I will be finishing the series, so hopefully I can get it through. And there's probably going to be more games that I have started, but I haven't finished, so I'm going to play those too. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next game. Bye, guys.